just never know. So anyway, um, I'm gonna kind of read this for just for time time's sake. But again, oh man, I erased my lot. But anyway, um, again, like I like I was telling them um, before, we are talking about um, initially when I introduced the topic, what uh, the topic for what we'll be talking about for the next few weeks, it was just identity crisis. But I believe it's a little bit more to it than that. Um, it's identity crisis leading into the ident our identities in Christ. Who does God say that we are? Because that's what's important. If we're in our identity crisis, well, we've lost somewhere what God really says about us. Or we know, but we, we somehow we don't believe. Okay? So we're moving from identity crisis to identity in Christ, and we're going to work from the inside out. Okay? Because um, the fact of the matter is, 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 Father help me. It's like, it's like, it's no sense of working from the outside in. That's what the world does, and it doesn't work, and then you have a mess. Okay, that's just like, I'll leave that alone. Identity. <laughs> I just say identity. Um, I, I kind of did some. I don't want to say research or uh, just looked it up for a little bit, and um, and I want you guys to add to this. This is just these are just di dictionary definitions. I want to be real. What what in your opinion is identity? We'll get to that. Um, so identity based on the dictionary, and I probably used a um, co Webster College dictionary. Um, the fact or state of the remaining the same. The set of characteristics by which a thing is recognized or known. What does that mean? This, let's start off with this. The fact or state of remaining the same. You being you. You being you. Keeping it real. <laughs> In all seasons. <laughs> yes. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. You being you. <laughs> you being you. Okay. The set of characteristics by which a thing is recognized and known. It can be you being you also, but let's just get a little more specific. Um, the set of characteristics by which a thing is recognized or known. How somebody sees you as you, people's perception of you, I guess. Absolutely. Because that's very important. Because we are all different. There is, there might be, people say, oh, everybody has a twin. Somebody said that me and my boyfriend look alike. They said we look like brother and sister. I kind of, yeah. Somebody told me that at work today. I was just like, lady, please. I almost gave her that. Don't you start resentment somebody that you're around? Yeah. We get ready to get to that. Perception. Um, they say everybody, and I was, I was saying that people say a lot of people say that um, everybody has a twin. I've seen somebody that resembles me. I got cousins that we look alike. We do. I, honestly, you know, I got one cousin. People are like, yo, when you get older, that's what you're gonna look like. Um, <laughs> I mean, but the fact of the matter is, is that when God created you, he created one of you. Even twins, paternal twins or what have you, even twins have, the, have different fingerprints. Mm -hmm. So what, I don't care how much we look alike, I don't care if we have best friend day, I don't care if we dress <laughs> up, you know what I'm saying? I don't care if the father always blue, you know what I'm saying? I don't care. The fact of the matter is, is that there's something in me. My makeup is different than what's in you. Even down to the gift that God gives me. He might, he might have given me a gift to sing, but he, and he might have given you a gift to sing. I don't care how much we might sound similar. 
What you offer and what I offer is totally different. Now together we might be better, but my makeup and your makeup is completely different. Perception, anything else? The set of characteristics by which a thing is recognized or known. So characteristics are the things that make you you. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm able to identify you. So somebody might not even necessarily say your name, but they might give me some characteristics of you, some traits of you, and I can easily say, they may say, oh, she, she writes songs, she, she's tall, she's pretty, um, she's real, uh, when it comes to conversation wise, she's dependable, uh, she's accountable, she's faithful, and automatically off the bat I can say, oh, you must, she sings songs, she leads praise and worship, for, yeah, oh, yeah, you're talking about evil. That was a big name. Do <laughs> <laughs> y'all even know what you mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make you live it. <laughs> hey, don't forget, phones can record too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> make them be. Make them be. But could somebody say something that's not true about you? Mm -hmm. Somebody can say something that's not true about you, but because we know each other. The fact or state of you remaining the same, I would be like, yeah, that ain't you. That ain't her. That don't even sound like that. That, that don't even, that don't, she did what? She mm -hmm. went in your pocketbook and took some, <laughs> took some what? Mm -hmm. Some lip gloss? <laughs> nah, so, nah, nah, you got, that, that, ain't, that ain't her. Nope. That ain't her. That ain't her. She ain't even trying to share her eyeshadow. Yeah, she, she ain't. She, 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 she ain't. <laughs> she ain't lip gloss? <laughs> You need to, I 
need to, I should identify, or somebody should be able to identify me with something in these scriptures. Okay? Um, so perception, yes. Perception. What others, the way others view you, the way others see you. And that is very important, especially because we just got finished talking about um, sowing and reaping and seed time and harvest and going out and the laborers of, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the laborers of few, but the harvest is plentiful um, and bringing other people in. So what do they see when they see us? Okay. Um, sin separates us from God. That's what the that's Bible. That's what the Bible says. It's true. Trust me, it is true. <laughs> Anybody that has fallen knows it's true. Sin separates you from God. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay. Do not allow your past to dictate your future, or do not allow it to negate what God's word says about you. For the sake of time, I'm going to read my notes. I generally don't do this, but here it is. Um, what is the path of your... And this is a question for you all. I want you to think of what is the path of, uh, of your life? What path is your life taking right now? What road are you on? Um, is anybody willing to follow you? If so, why? If not, why not? Um... <clears throat> Identity crisis. Somebody read that, please. That that uh. An analogous state and condition, or condition of discrimination, and the rate of confusion occurring, especially in adolescence, as a result of conflicting pressures and expectations. Okay. What does that mean? Hmm. And I should have said a, a psychosocial. What? But, I'll fix that later. It should be in a psychosocial state or condition. Psychosocial. Okay. Simply what it means is, is this, is that a lot of times because of the pressure that the world, well, I'm kind of turning it to us. But a lot of times, because of the pressure of the world, what the world says that we should be doing or should not be doing, or um, our peers or, or um, those that are closest to us, we start questioning ourselves. Okay? Um, it's easy to fall into a routine. Think about the path you're on. How in the world did I get here? A lot of times it's easy to look up. One day you would acquire you. And that wasn't even on me. Lord. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, well, you know, one day you would acquire you. You get it. And I need you to edit that part. They can't see your feet? Yeah. They can see They can hear you. They can hear That was That wasn't on That wasn't on it. That wasn't on it. Um, but. I mean, you know, one day you going strong and you, yo, let me tell you, Jesus loves you, gang, yo, let me tell you. Yo, I just got saved, man. Yo, you need to come to my church. Yo, we got community day coming up, son. Yo, you need to come. Hey, yo. What day is community day? Uh, uh, August 25th. The last Saturday in August. Um, um, but, I mean, you have this, think back when you first got saved. I mean, you was excited, got the zeal, you like, yo, Lord, whatever you want me to do, I'm down, and I'm like, yo, just, just show me the way. And we was willing to tell any and everybody. And we didn't have a problem saying, yo, I'm a Christian. Yo, I'm practicing celibacy. And we started to create an image after Christ. And it was easy, and it became easy for somebody to say and identify us as, one, that's, that's the holy roller. Mm -hmm. Two, that's the church girl, that's the church boy. 
um, or whatever, they, whatever it was, they associated you with what you did and what you do. And the same is true to today. People will associate you with one, the things you, the, the people you hang around, the things that you do, the things that you're involved in. And they may not know anything about you. You may not ne never open up your mouth, but they have now just what identified you. When cops, <coughs> my boyfriend's a cop. Um, <laughs> when he, when he, um, when they get a call, he's texting me all the time. Just got a call. This the. When they get a call, what do they get? They don't get the per they don't get a chance to meet the person, and spend time with the person, hang out with the person. They get a description. He was black. They get the, they get, <laughs> they get the characteristics. <laughs> they get the set of characteristics by which a thing is recognized or known. And they take those 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 characteristics and those things that they were given to help them identify their victim or their suspect. And then based on what you are, what category I placed you in, now that will determine how I deal with you. That will in turn determine your sentence. Dun, 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 dun. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, that will determine your sentence. When you go before the judge. Black male boot like in one copy of Soul Play. <laughs> in the world did I get here? Being a Christian isn't going to church on Sunday. It's good. That's good. Forsake not the sun of yourselves together. It's being empowered on Sunday to live as a Christian the rest of the week. Um, a good friend of mine's Y'all know her. I'm trying not to call her names since she put me out there. On the low. Um, we were talking one time and she said, um, I was telling her I was going through something. I was, we were talking and she said, now look, she said, I'm gonna be a coach. And this is, this is the field. She said, now I'm gonna give you what you need in this huddle, which is our meeting time, for you to get back in the game. And that's kind of how I like church, what church is on a Sunday. When you come through the door of church, you should be empty. Why? Because you poured out all week long. That's why it's important that you come on Tuesday to get a refilling. And that's why it's important that you come on Friday to get filled again. I was talking to a guy and he simply said this. He said, and a lot of times, I'm <clears throat> kind of going off, but I'm not. I'm going to come back. Um, a lot of the, I was talking to a guy and he said this. He said, a lot of times we get angry and we get upset at church, but he said, you know what? He said, the funny thing is, this is a young guy. He said, the funny thing is, is that um, he said that um, the, the, for some reason, people, the church is Thank the... You. Hey, what's going on? He said, for some reason, the church is the only thing that people actually abandon. Just talking about you. Um, this is good. It was good. Yeah, good. I, was, I was using it as an example of something good. encouraging. The, the, the huddle analogy. Uh, the huddle analogy. But anyway, um, so he was saying that um, that the um, just lost my train of thought. He was saying that um, the church is a lot of times is the only thing that. Um, not the only thing, but uh, the thing that people abandon. 
You don't like it and you leave and you stop. But what's funny is we go to a restaurant, we don't like the restaurant, do we stop eating? No. Nah, because you know that you need the food. <clears throat> you just, you might find another one. But you don't stop eating. You don't stop there. You don't say, okay, I didn't like this. I'm done eating. I will never eat again. Okay. <clears throat> Sometimes our greatest obstacles are ourselves. All right. Um, Proverbs 4 and 26. Let's turn to that quickly because we haven't looked at the scripture yet. Good conversation, but we haven't looked at the scripture yet. Then next we're going to 1 John 4 and 4. 